All right, so we're going to take a look at the sound simulation. So hopefully you got a chance to open this up and just kind of start hitting buttons. Uh, later on, we'll take a look at, we see over here, we have frequency and amplitude. Right now, we're just kind of visualizing what sound looks like. Okay, so first of all, nothing is happening over here with our speaker. And so there's no sound. That makes sense. Okay, so if you click on the green button, like it said in the instructions, you'll see that things change. Now, if you really want to hear something annoying, you can go over here and click play the tone, and we'll end up doing that later. Okay, so we actually have some sound, but right now we're just visualizing it, so I'm going to turn that off because a uh, continuous tone kind of gets annoying. All right, so we see we have white bands and we have black bands, and they're just kind of alternating and uh, some of the other observations you can make is over here. So this seems like a little more distinct, the colors, and then down here on the right-hand side of our screen, it turns a little more gray. So just something to note and think of, thinking about what, what does that mean exactly? And um, We'll go forward with that as we'll look at the simulation a few times. Uh, the second thing it has you do is change it to particles. So if you click that, well, now we got all kinds of stuff jumping around. Okay, well, this could be a little confusing, but what I want you to look at is mixed in. Most of these are kind of like off-white or uh, grayish particles, but mixed in, you'll have these darker ones. Uh, you know, I'm colorblind, so I'm not exactly sure what they are. They might be red or something, but they're darker than the other ones. Those are good reference particles to look at. You can kind of follow it around and you can see this one it's hard to, yeah, there it goes, bouncing back and forth. So as the waves are going across, just like you saw with the slinky, this particle here, right in the middle, it isn't going to the right. It's just bouncing right, left, right, left. It's bouncing back and forth, just like the coils in your slinky. Okay, so uh, now we can kind of see the particles. And this is going to represent like the air particles. Even though we can't see them, they're there and they're bouncing around as sound is moving throughout the room. Now I'm going to bring this over here and uh, you know you can put it over here and you'll see changes but I'm just going to leave it over here and actually drag the sensors over and you'll see the graph start going. Now what do we got? Okay it looks like we got up and down and if you took a math class with sine waves you're starting to see something that looks like that. It's a very pretty graph um, but what does it mean? Okay, first of all, whenever you have a graph, you've got to look at what is on the axes. So on the x-axis, we have time. So that means time is going to move forward. And then on the y-axis, we have pressure. Okay, so that's what we're measuring here. Now, I'm going to click both right here. And so now we can see like the bands and the particles at the same time. And I'm going to pause it. Now, when I have it paused, I can still move my sensors. So I'm going to put that one on the black band and this one on the white band. And one thing that I want you to notice right away is that I've put this here on this black band. It doesn't seem to be a whole lot of particles around that sensor. Okay. On this one, I've put it on the white band, and there seems to be a lot of particles right next to this sensor. Hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to hit play, and it doesn't matter which color you put on each band. You can switch them around. All that tells us is uh, which line we're looking at. So now we're going to hit play, and now on our graph, look over here what we've got. We've got two lines, and it's very pretty now. They're both going kind of opposite. So when one is up, the other is down, up and down and up and down, and that's a very beautiful graph. So I'm going to try and pause it. So that we have this sensor on a white band and this sensor on a black band. And we're going to take a look. The white sensor. So we see that graph is now in a high position. And the uh, darker sensor, that graph is now in the low position. Now you can see, well, what does that mean? Okay. This one is surrounded by a bunch of particles. And so it has high pressure. Remember, we're measuring pressure. This one is not surrounded by many particles at all. 
and it's got low pressure. Okay, so that is really what pressure is. If you remember back in chemistry class, if you took that when you're talking about gas laws, okay, pressure is basically particles, whether it's air or other gases or even liquids. But in this case, we're thinking about air particles. It's just particles bouncing off of things. That's all pressure is. Okay, so if we have more particles in this white band, that means there's more particles bouncing off of things, and so we have high pressure. Okay, if we have fewer particles here, now we look and we have low pressure at that point. Okay, so you can set up your screen and just let it go. And I just like watching the graph up and down, up and down, and they're opposite. And uh, I'm gonna try and, oh, can't do it. I was gonna try and, you can play a game and see if you can get them both in the middle at the same time. What would that look like? It's pretty close. Okay, and you'll see they're kind of both in the middle of the bands. So, oh, I had it and I, sorry. Now I'm just goofing around. Okay, so take a look at that. Uh, answer some of the questions here that are gonna pop up and then you can keep going forward. Later on, we'll look at this simulation again, but we'll look over here, we'll be talking about frequency and amplitude.